If you want to get hired as a web developer, you need to fix this now ASAP. Let's get into it. All right, guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again one more time. I'm here to help you guys out. This is something that I'm seeing constantly with new developers, and y'all need to fix this, man, for real. You can go and take a course. You can learn the skills. You can build a portfolio. You could build the portfolio projects that are amazing, even getting interviews. But then when you get to the interviews, you don't know how to do the interview. You don't know how to answer questions. You're constantly nervous and, you know, having anxiety and this, this, and that, and that. Like, you need to fix that, okay? I'm just being honest with you. I've been seeing this, you know, the past five, six months from a lot of people that come into the platform and they get to learn the skills, right? Like at codingphase.com, and I'll tell you again, for anybody that's watching this, at codingphase.com, we're going to teach you how to code. We're going to teach you the skills that you need to get the job. But once you get to the interview process, that's on you. And we're not talking about technical questions. We're talking about just being able to go to an interview and ace the interview i'm seeing a couple of problems and i'm gonna break it down like this number one you gotta have energy when you go to these interviews you can't show up with um hi my name is uh uh billy um my name is jane uh bring your energy up hey guys how you doing man and yeah this is me uh my name is joe I, I, I've been excited to get into this industry. Uh, you know, I'm just hyped to be here. Bring that type of energy. You're showing up with, um, uh, yeah, I don't know. You, It's not gonna happen for you. Don't matter how many skills you have, what you can do for a company, companies are not gonna feel comfortable and be like, I don't know if this guy really wants it or this girl really wants it. That's just the truth because there's gonna be a next person coming in on the next interview that's gonna be super excited, jolly, right? It's like, damn, man, I would love to work with her. Look at her energy. She gonna get shit done. You get what I'm saying? Also too, if you're going in and you're doing an interview through Zoom, turn on your camera, put in some nice lighting, right? Set yourself up for success. Maybe you're using your, your laptop's camera, invest in yourself, get yourself a nice little camera, right? A Logitech, a 4K. Set up a little bit of lighting behind you. Make yourself look good. Make yourself look like a superstar. That's just the truth. You're showing up to Zoom calls. There's no video. There's no, it's just audio. Invest in yourself. You're selling yourself. You are the product, right? Right now, you have a business. Your business is you. This type of skills that you work hard to get that it took you so long to get into the game, you gotta sell it to somebody. People are not just gonna buy and be like, eh, look at that, it's a nice little product. No, you gotta sell it. You gotta go in there like, hey man, I'm the best. I do what I do. I does what I does, right? Like break it down, you know, let them know what you can do for the company, right? Show up and, 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 and make yourself an authority, right? Take control of the interviews. If the interviewer, it's already taking control of the whole interview and you're just answering to them whenever they want to ask you something, then you're already lost in the sauce. You have to go in there and continue the conversation, right? A lot of things that happen too is people drop the ball. Someone asks you about something that you have no idea what it is. For example, someone comes in and says, hey, um, you know, we actually use here Salesforce. We're looking for somebody that, that knows Salesforce. And you show up and you're like, well, I don't know Salesforce. And that's it, that's all you do. And that's your answer. No, continue the conversation with, well, I don't know Salesforce, but I actually do know other services that are similar to Salesforce, right? Like ConvertKit, MailChimp, right? And I'm able to use those services. So I'm pretty sure that if I look at the documentation and you give me maybe a couple of hours with Salesforce, I'll be at home because all of the services do the same thing, which is send out emails. Same thing for your front end developer. They tell you, well, you know, we kind of use Vue.js here. We kind of use Angular here, but you've been busting your ass as a React developer. And you're like, well, you know, I'm actually a React developer. You dropped the ball. No, 
you are a software engineer you are a front-end developer you can learn any type of skills that they throw at you once you learn one framework it's easy for you to learn the next one right you can explain what you can do with react and then from there you can say well i can learn the same things with Vue.js, all I have to do is look at the documentation. These are all front end frameworks and they're all doing the same thing on the web, right? But if you drop the ball and you just be like, well, it's done. You're not getting the job. Your skills, right? When you go to take a course, it doesn't matter if you come to me, you go to anybody, any platform, right? You go to a boot camp, you go to college, you go to Udemy, you go to YouTube, you go to wherever the hell you go to learn, right? If you do not know how to be in an interview and, and how to pass the interview, like you're not going nowhere. Okay. You're just not going nowhere. It's, it's just, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing a lot of people that's very qualified. And then I'll be like, man, how, how are you not, not hired yet? And then I start picking their brain, start looking at what's going on in the interviews. I'm like, of course not. You're not getting the job. <laughs> Your energy's not there. You're not presenting yourself properly. Right. You're not continuing the conversation. You're not asking questions. You're not even preparing yourself for, you know, what the company does, things that you might be able to help them with. You get what I'm saying? Look at their stack, find out what they use. Talk about that, right? Go into the interview and, 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 and be excited to be in that process. You know, be hyped that shoot. I'm here. I'm the one I'm him. I'm her. Right. If you, you if you don't have that energy, you ain't going nowhere. OK, so today I want to go in and let you guys know that I'm dropping a couple of videos in here that some of you guys need below. OK, you need to work on your interviews. Right. And this has nothing to do with algorithms. Right. This has nothing to do with like technical questions. It really comes down to you being able to sell yourself in an interview this is just basic stuff this is what we call like the soft skills if you don't have those things right it's going to be very difficult for you to go in and get a job okay because even if you have the skills and you don't know how to sell yourself you're not getting the position and trust me yo i suffer from you know social anxiety you might think like man that joe is like oh this hype individual and this isn't i get nervous sometimes right you know how many freaking conferences i've gotten invited to to go speak and do this this and that why i don't do it i get freaking anxiety but also i fight through that shit i fight through that shit right yes it's hard to meet new people it's hard to present yourself to random people that you don't know what do they think about me how do i look today this this and that how do i sound I understand all those thoughts. I have the same shit. You get what I'm saying? But you have to fight it because if not, then now uh, it's basically a disability that you have. That's just the truth. If you don't know how to present yourself and you don't know how to sell yourself out here, you're not going to get the job. And also too, when you're applying to jobs, apply to as many jobs as possible. So you could get to as many interviews as possible because you just don't know what you're lacking until you get there going to a quote unquote like a office job is not the same shit when you apply to like fedex you know what i'm saying some of us that's coming from the bottom or had like little bullshit jobs right out here y'all might not even know how to do this office game yet you know this little office lingual how you gotta present yourself how you gotta talk right y'all gotta work on that that's just the truth also too some of the you young guys and young girls that you know you have been going to college you have been going to school your whole life you haven't really had like a a, a, a real solid job out there what behind the ears yeah i gotta get into as many interviews as possible and it's fine to fail them or not even fail them not get the position because what you're doing is you're getting better at interviews okay we're going to also add a section into our discord for those of you guys that want to go in and do some mocking interviews right like mock some interviews and, and and go back and forth with maybe me or maybe some of the students go in introduce yourself hey hi my name is joe da 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 i'm, I'm, I'm applying for this position um and have somebody else another student work with them collaborate and be like hey man what do you think how how did it go practice you need it right and again going to this interviews it, it's fine to not get the job it's a learning experience that's one of the main reasons why it's so important for you to put in as many hours as possible 
into going through the courses to get the skills quickly. You don't want to spend a whole year to go in and learn all of the skills and all the stuff that you're trying to do to get the job position because you only do it once a week, right? Because then comes in the process of getting hired. Once you learn the skill, it's not a guarantee that you're going to get hired. You have to go in and say, well, I start at zero chances of getting hired. But then from there, I'm going into interviews. I'm improving on the skills of presenting myself. I'm improving on answering questions. I'm improving on you know, being witty, being able to explain my projects. Every time that you go to an interview, you're bringing your percentage of getting higher, 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 higher. Okay. Once you're like at 60, 70, 80% of a chance that you're going to get higher, you're good to go. That's when you see guys that they go to, you know, four or five interviews in, in one month and three of them, he got an offer. It's not just the skills. It's the way how this person sold himself and was able to present himself as a package and what he was going to be able to do for that, that company once you have that shit down pack that's it no one can stop you but if you don't know how to do that yet no one can really help you after i'm putting a couple of videos resources right below this this uh video description so you guys could check out some other people that give some really good tips on how to do interviews and yeah man let's work on that now guys if you want to learn how to code you definitely got to come to codingphase.com we're going to teach you how to code we're going to help you with your portfolio give you some real good projects for your portfolio projects we're going to make sure that we optimize that portfolio so when you send the application in and they look at your portfolio and say yo this is a guy that's legit this is a girl that's legit we need to interview them okay so again if you're looking to learn how to code for a purpose either to get a job start freelancing or to build your own business there's no better platform than codyphase.com links in the description get that 20 percent off and let's get started